May pips be upon you. Hey, listen, this is what I want to do. I want you to know that <laughs> for surety that uh, I'm giving good ideas. I'm giving good, uh, good trade ideas and my outlooks are worthwhile uh, taking a look at. So I'm going to do some follow-ups. I'm going to do some updates and follow-ups right now on my last two videos. Uh, the last video was about Euro New Zealand dollar. And the uh, one prior to that covered a number of uh, 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 pairs on Friday. It was like the end of the week outlook. <laughs> and, and really, I should have saved that for uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday evening for market open. Because a lot of those, most most of them were higher time frame looks, so you know it wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have helped much for intraday. But there were some intraday moves that you could have took advantage of. Anyway, uh, that was uh, for uh, the Nasdaq, the Dixie, Eurocad, CAD Swiss, um, pound, U.S. dollar, uh, pound, uh, yen, pound, no. Euro, Euro USD, Aussie USD, New Zealand USD, USD uh, 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 Yen, New Zealand CAD, and then I did news. All right, so we're gonna just look at them one by one. And uh, the uh, Euro New Zealand, you can see uh, what 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 I had talked about the uh, when I had talked about it. The uh, uh, the candle was here. Come on, man. That thing drives me crazy. All right, the candle was here. All right, see how much it moved, right? You can see it a, a, a little more clearly on, oops, I did it again. You can see it a more clearly on the four hour. And uh, I actually, uh, I told somebody to uh, take take it short. I had the candle here. Let's move this up just a little bit and we can kill, kill that. And uh, it's moved quite significantly since then. So if you would have took advantage of my idea, you would have been 54 pips up, okay? That's one. Now, I also, oops, I wanna mention, let's get rid of this. All right. I want to mention that uh, during that analysis, I talked about price hitting the 382, you know, uh, uh, retracing back to 382 and possibly the, the, uh, the 618 Fibonacci retracement levels. All right. And then continuing up. We are on our way to that now. There's a lot of pips in between here and there. You know what I mean? And it's why not take it, take advantage of it. All right, now it might, you might consider it a counter trend trade, but this is a good trade, a good trade to take, especially after you see this kind of formation on a higher time frame, like four hour, you can see that once we break these, the, the support, you know, we should be good to go uh, uh, for a short term uh, downtrend. You know, at least, uh, you know, uh, this is the correction, all right? After an impulse, you have to expect that correction. So we're still on on schedule. We're still on point. Still on on the plan. We'll see what happens when we get here. Look for uh, bullish formations and patterns. Look for uh, rejections, and then look for that that big bullish candle, like a, a bearish engulfing, or, or something uh, something like that. Okay, a bullish sorry, a bullish engulfing, so that we can have a good reason to to, to enter and get to the uh, higher higher level, higher level uh, uh, trading ranges, okay? All right, the next one on the list is the NASDAQ. All right, this is from, I'm gonna put a link for both of these, both of these videos in my, um, in my uh, description. Let's see which one, let's go to Wanda. Okay, now, what did I say here? What I said was we had Oh, I was on the, uh, I was on the uh, four hour. Yeah, when I gave when I gave this uh, breakdown, talked about how price uh, came down here, formed this W, came back, you know, tested the neckline, and then w went on up, and now we're back. 
testing that neckline area. All right, this is a great level because you can see it going across, you know, that we visited this level a few times as resistance and support, right? Did I just point to that? Support, <laughs> okay. All right, so you know this is a key level, all right? We're back here, all right? Price uh, chopped up a little and, and, and came down a little, but we see where it closed. It did not break the uh, the support has not broken support yet. Don't get fooled by the wicks, all right? That's why you wait for candles to close. I also uh, uh, pointed out that uh, if we break these highs, all right, we can expect price to keep going on up. Well, <laughs> well, uh, that's exactly what happened. And I only have this here to illustrate the fact that if you would have uh, jumped in when I told you, when I, when I said, hey, listen, catch a good candle on the way out. You see this big bullish candle, you see that big pin bar? This is the kind of com this is the kind of uh confirmations that you look for. And you can go to the hour to the hour um uh, uh time frame to uh see see how it hits a level and how what candles form a little clearer. All right. The hours will give you decent com confirmation, but the higher time the higher the time frame, the better the confirmation. Anyway, you see that it went up. So uh, and we're still on schedule. Now let's see what happens when it hits the bottom of this uh, uh, um, this trend line here, all right? Because you can see right here, we're gonna run into some kind of uh, resistance here, 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 and we're here already reacting, you understand? Might get a little pullback, maybe down to here to retest this area and then we should be looking for, for more upside, okay? Let's uh, move to the next one, if I can get to it, thank you. Okay, we're on the Dixie, right? Already talked talked to you in the other video about how price, uh, you know, found, found this support down here, worked its way up, all right? And we're looking to hit, when we uh, came to this area, we were looking at uh, price reacting at this, uh, uh, this resistance area, which is support here, and we want to see how it would act with resistance. It went through it, you know, it tested it here, then came back below it, tested it again, and then rose above it. And once as once as once we break this high, that's showing strength, and we're on our way up. And kept an eye on uh, the uh, trend line. Uh, this is a, a long term, a long term, a long time, a long term kind of trend line here. All right, it's forming a wedge. Okay, and uh, if we go to the uh, four hours where I was talking about it, mostly, I said put your trend, put your trend line, put your uh, Fibonacci's here to the top of that move, and we want to see price come back down to the 38 and price is making its way down all right that's all that's that's all i want to establish is i got the i got the bias right hopefully it comes all the way down because we still have this candle and these candles here that could cause a little uh you know like speed bumps on the way down but i'm looking for this and we're going to test the bottom of this uh this uh, 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 trend line here, which is actually the support line of the wedge. So we're gonna test it as resistance and hopefully break through, pop above the top, and we'll see what's going on with the Dixie. I'm looking for Dixie strength. You know, that's that's where my eye is because we done broke a high over here so it, that indicating some strength. So with a pullback and a, an, and a breaking of the new high, you know, that'll demonstrate some more strength and we'll see how it affects the other pairs. The next one is EuroCAD. Okay, and I, I explained about this ascending uh, wedge pattern. All right, and I also mentioned how the support line of the ascending wedge pattern is intersecting with the this the strong support here 
All right. Well, this is actually a key level because it's been, it can't just call it support because it's been used for resistance, tested as resistance, tested as support multiple times. All right. And that, uh, and it's it intersect, it, we're, we're converging at this, at the same point. That's a very powerful situation. And I explained that in my, uh, in my last video. And uh, when we go down to the four hour where I was explaining what uh, what we would be looking for as far as an entry. Uh, I mentioned about the uh, Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement. Uh, I looked at, I was looking at different scenarios that would give us uh, different uh, entries and exits and, you know, what it all would mean. Let me, uh, let me get rid of this here. All right. But I also, I just want to get down to what matters is the entry, right? All right, what I told you was, what I told you down here was, we need a show of strength and I would like a safe entry above this level because you see how price has found that as an area of resistance, all right? I would like to get beyond that level because I wouldn't want to take a, 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 a buy here, which would be very aggressive in hopes that it passes this, this level of resistance when I'm looking at a candle like this one, see that wick, that wick of rejection. I don't, I don't need that to happen, right? So, buys above here, I'm thinking would have been the best thing. And what I said was, because uh, when when I was talking, price was, uh, let me see, I'm looking at, looking at, I'm referring to the, uh, to the uh, uh, video right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I was talking, uh, price was hadn't come in for a landing yet. It was still like one of these candles, all right. And I said, look for uh, the way that price usually hits and uh, hits a level, and look for wick rejections. Look for wick rejections like that, and then look for that bullish candle. Uh, that strong bullish candle, the mo what I call a momentum candle. And if it's an engulfer, even better. I believe that's what that is. Okay. So we got, we got a rejection. We got the engulfer. This, this I consider a valid entry, right? A valid entry, maybe something like that but it is aggressive because of this uh, resistance line. Either way, it's heading up that way. Uh, we'll see how this candle, uh, you know, this candle, the, you see the way this candle closed. All right, we'll see how the, the next one's form. We might get some misdirection on Monday. So be, be expecting that. We might get something that comes down here to sweep these lows on these wicks so they can grab liquidity, all right, and then go up, okay? So look for that, all right? So don't don't jump too early. That's why I say you always wait for confirmation, wait for uh, candles to close. And again, this one is the safest entry, but you can get one down here lower. You know, when you see stuff like this here, it's not, that's not a bad, that's not a bad move. You give a generous uh, 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 stop loss, you'll be all right, but uh, I, I would say, wait to see how, how uh, the market opens and see if we get that liquidity hunt first and then uh, it resumes the, uh, the direction it was gonna take in the first place, okay? So we are hitting where I said it would hit and we're, we're seeing some formation. Let's see, it, we're seeing it respecting this, uh, this, uh, this key level. Let's see, uh, we get the follow through. CAD twist is, is next. All right. And uh, I talked about this, this crazy trend line, my magic trend lines. And I said, if it breaks that, that trend line here, we'll, we'll look for a retest over the top, let it go away and then come back. And then uh, we'll look for further movement to the upside. But what I was looking for is if it shows respect to that trend line. All right. And Let's take a close look. It looked like it has, all right? We have uh, a little spike above, but no close above. 
All right, we have all these rejections here. So I'm looking just like this arrow is, all right, indicates uh, I'm looking for a retest of the 382 Fibonacci retracement level. All right, we have a little bit of structure here. So that's what one of, one of the good things that I look for, excuse me, how does that keep happening? I don't know. Um, that's, that's just confluence. We would look for a Fibonacci level to line up with some structure to give us confluence on that of uh, support. And that gives us good reason to believe that price, when it does come down there, it may, it, we, we can expect a bounce, okay? And that's it. So far, so far, so good. You know, the, the you know, uh, we're, I'm doing all right with uh, the uh, analysis I gave. Okay, I just want I just want you to see that it's worthwhile. That's all. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next one. I believe that would be pound USD. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lost my place. Okay, now um. Uh. This is pound, pound USD. What I talked about briefly was you can see the trend line was broken down here. All right, you see the bullishness going on, but we also see this level of resistance that it's running into. That was once support, now turned resistance, and looks like price is in a trading range here. All right, looking at the, looking at we're making note of this bullishness over here now. Okay, I went down to the daily made some notes, all right? You all saw the notes in the last video. You can review them there. Why am I having trouble with this? Okay, I don't understand something. Why Why am I, why is it not moving when I'm over here? Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Oh, all right, something's not right, folks. I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, okay, I just have to work with it, work around it. Um, so what I said was price, at, 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 when I was talking, price was still here, all right? The rest of Friday, it went up here. And that's where I was thinking it was going to go because I pointed out in the video with, uh, with, with a Fibonacci retracement uh, from the uh, weekly uh, perspective, we can see that uh, uh, price would, would be coming, you know, retracing back down uh, past the 380, uh, 382 and hit the uh, 618. On a weekly, from a weekly perspective, that's where the candles, the candle was, um, matter of fact, let me just go there and show you. All right, see how it pinged? It pinged the uh, 786 area, well, close to it anyway, uh, but it, it didn't close past the 618. And that's what I was talking on. And I was saying, if it comes back up, if price it, once once uh, price uh, uh, broke there, it came back up. It, it would uh, come back up and re re uh, retest the the lower high, and that's exactly what it did. And you see, God darn it! I wish I could get this thing fixed. I don't know why it, it is doing that. Uh, uh, you see the rejection from the lower high area, and we can expect price to come down a little further, okay? Uh, what we're looking for, you can find on the lower time frames that bearish engulfing, that big momentum candle, that uh, the uh, morning star, the evening star uh, formation, you know, something that signifies reversal. Anyway, and some re wick rejections, but you'll also notice that the 50 EMA is here too to reject, reject price. So. Like I said, uh, I was expecting it to go up and then come down as the uh, arrow indicates, and that's exactly what happened. Okay, I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing okay so far in my analysis. This is a pound yen. We're at. Price has taken us to the resistance point. 
the uh, trend line, the, the, the big, the big trend line here. All right, long time since uh, 2007. Here, right, here, all right. If you have doubles, if you have that, if you have this, and this one, you can see just like down here, we are at the last one of the retracement levels on that Fibonacci. And you can see the response that happened when we got, got this bullish engulfing here of the infinite bullish engulfing and we are on our way up. All right. Where are we on our way up to the people? Where are we going? Right. Looks like we're going to jump this high. Looks like we're going to jump this high. And then, but I think uh, we're probably going to end up uh, at the trend line. All right. Pound yen. Uh, what did I what did I talk about? Uh, there's a trend line here. All right, that trend line you can see it a little clearly. Uh, it's a long time trend line from the high time frames, and we're looking for contact over here. Price hasn't reached there yet, but I do think it's on its way. See now it's working. I don't know why it did that to me. All right, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking here. I took out the Fibonacci, measured the uh, pullback. It came back all the way to the 786. Right here. All right, pinged right there. And you see the bullish reaction. Now, when I was talking about this, price was still here. Okay, that was uh, before uh, the session opened on Friday. All right, and you see how it continued on. So I was right on point with that. Um, I said that price will probably test the test the uh, resistance here, and we would look for later in the week probably a break and a retest, so that we can head on up to the uh, trend line for a test. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, we're heading that way, so let's uh, keep an eye on this one. Okay, we found the support here. All right. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens here. Be careful of the opening on the on the open Sunday Sunday evening, because uh, uh, it can be a little misdirected. All right. So if it if you find it's going down and then it goes up, you know, be expecting that because it gets funky on Mondays. Okay. Anyway, you see a long time, I, I mentioned in my other video, you uh, have a long time trend uh, for uh, Euro on the monthly, you'll see that and we have a, a break of that, that trend line, a retest of it, and a break, uh, an impulse up and a correction of that impulse, a nice deep uh, retracement. Let's go to the daily. And on the daily, we can see how deep that retracement went, 786, all right? And then we uh, pinged up from here. You know, now when I was talking, when I was talking about uh, yours, USD, uh, this was fairly small, fairly small. It went up a little bit more and came down. All right. So my general direction was, uh, was correct. And what I'm looking, what I was saying, what I was looking for at the time, I wish I can get that thing to work right, was a retest of these, this, this, uh, this low here. All right. And that's what price seems to be on its way to doing. All right, and uh, that would that would be perfect. If I can just get this thing to work, uh, that would be perfect. All right, once once a uh, price once price makes it up here and retest either this low or these lows. All right, I expect it to come down into this lower uh, trading range and bounce around excuse me, and uh, do one of these, <laughs> and do one of these numbers. This thing is acting janky, all right? And, uh, and maybe come down and test that long time trend line uh, once again. 
all right, because we haven't had a retest, uh, a, a, a deep a retest of it or, or a second retest of it anyway, all right, because this, this, this here uh, looks like it was supposed to be a test because there's a little wiggle room. See how it, I don't have the, uh, uh, the uh, trend line up to those lines. So there's a little wiggle room that, that could have been the first test. So we're looking probably going to be getting a second test. The euro, I don't expect a lot of strength from. I expect uh, strength in the USD, and that would follow uh, that bias. Aussie dollar. This was an interesting one. Why? Because if you, matter of fact, if I can get it to work, no, it's not going to work. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this thing. All right, just stop working. Uh, when you zero out, when you pan out, you can see this trend line. It's, it's a long time. Uh, I explained it in my other video. And uh, what I would like to see, what I like to see is when the trend line intersects with a horizontal uh, level. And that's exactly what happened here. And if we zero in on it, uh, let's go, this is the monthly. Let's go to the weekly. All right. When I when we zero in on it, you can see it hit it and gave a lovely rejection wick from there. All right. Also, we are forming a head and shoulders pattern. Okay. And I also want you to see on the RSI, it's pretty high up in the uh, the range of being overextended. So we might be coming back down to earth, which would be here. You can find this, uh, what do you call it? Um, this level of resistance turn support here. If you put your Fibonacci on it, you can see it lines up perfectly with the 618 retracement, which would also coincide with contact with, uh, with uh, the 50 EMA finding, finding uh, converging at the same area. Okay, all right, so what am I looking for here? You see how it's dancing up here? All right, finding that support, what we wanna look out for. Uh, well, let's put it this way. What I, I, I'm trying to move my screen and, it, and it's not, not cooperating with me folks. And I'm, I apologize for that. I, I don't know what just happened just now. Okay. I, I don't I don't like these games. I don't like these games whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> I'm suffering here. All right. Um what what I was what I had mentioned in my other video was look for price to maybe come back up and touch this uh this uh, uh trend line for a double top, all right, or ping off of this. Uh, the same level it already pinged off for for a double top, the, the same uh, resistance, which is also been hit here, here, and here. Price seems to be attracted to that area. All right, we're back here again, but this time we're on the other underside of a a uh, a trend line. All right, now with this head and shoulders, looks like there's a good chance that we might uh, venture down to the uh, support. At the lower level of this uh this trading range so look we're going to be on the lookout for both we have a rejection wick already at this support so let's look for a continuation up to the upside let's if we look at the daily i wish i can get this thing to work i mentioned about this pattern here this is this is a very interesting pattern for me all right when you find it at key levels at key levels all right i'll repeat that when you find this pattern uh, at key levels, that's usually an indication of reversal, all right? I wouldn't consider this a key level, but it is a level of support and it might indicate, you know, that we might might wanna go higher. We're just gonna be on the lookout for it. I understand there's this low here that we could be retesting and it might wanna play down and do one of these numbers, all right? That could happen. We wanna be on the lookout for such things, all right? But right now we have this rejection from this area and I'm gonna look for more to the upside. Be careful on the open, all right, Sunday evening. It might misdirect us, it might ping up 
and then go down. It might ping up and then go down. We got to see how it opens. We got to see how things open it and how things are come Monday, because this is going to be a nice swing trade. I'm telling you, um, what I what I'd like to see is if it if it uh, does uh, ping the uh, the the, uh, the trend line or that that level of of uh, resistance and go up go up there and sweep the uh the stop losses up there for a, a liquidity hunt then we can st start this long trek all the way down okay because uh uh that's that's what it, if 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 we're gonna if, if if it shows the respect to this trend line like it has has been all right just staying below that trend line all right Coming here, not going any higher. Coming here, not going any higher. You know, uh, we we should be looking good for a lovely short, but not before it does some shenanigans. Before it, it, it takes that short. Now, if it continues up to the upside, if it breaks through, you know, if it goes up and breaks through here and breaks through here, we'll be prepared for it, and we'll we'll just make make a you know adjustments and that's what we do all right we, we we take what the market gives us all right but so far so far the analysis is pretty much on point nothing went wrong and we haven't advanced much since i uh, uh i gave this analysis all right but i did give an idea for a i remember now um i did give an idea for a buy from this area i said look for bullish formations and patterns like that rejection wick and we would take it to the uh trend line and uh uh for tp1 and and or take it to the uh to the resistance i remember giving that idea and um you know we'll see how it all works out all right it's very early in this uh the, this uh this movement here I also want to mention we're on the four hour of the Aussie dollar, taking a closer look at that rejection area. And this is the kind of stuff you want to see when you want to break a, a level of resistance, you want to see it break with bullish momentum candles. All right. And uh, we have some nice wicks of rejection from the lower areas above this line, above this uh, level of, of, uh, of, a. Uh, support turn resist of oh, this resistance turn support excuse me and uh see how it pinged here and then it can, we finally broke through we're probably going to get a retest of this area and then continuation to the upside and that's what we want to look for once we get that that uh, you know uh, uh, uh a retest then we can bring that on over here and see if we can profit on the way up okay Look at, we're gonna, you know, I mentioned in the other video, setting your TPs one, two, and this this will be your last one up here, okay? Because that's where we're gonna have some pauses, no doubt. Okay, let's move on. All right, this is New Zealand USD. Um, what I pointed out was that price had broke below this level here at what what number is it? Why is why is my this thing this thing is acting funny, man? Let me see if I can uh fix this thing. Hold on a second. Okay, fixed it. All right. Now, what did I say about New Zealand dollar? Only thing I said was okay. At the time, this candle didn't didn't uh, wasn't didn't exist. It was just this this candle on this candle. And what I said was, let me get this on front. All right. Uh, why did I do that? All right. Thank you. All right. So I, uh, uh, I said, we're expecting price to pull back from here. All right. I identified this level at uh, really this is call it 7,000. All right. I identified this level. I said it would revisit this level. And if 
depending on how it reaches reaches here, uh, we should look for bearish formations and patterns and take a short or wait for it to break this level, break and retest this level and look for it to go and retest the lower high here. I mean, the, the higher low here. This is, this is the, I call, I'm calling this a higher low because it was the higher low here, all right? And it was a higher, we got a higher low here that led to this, come down here to test that. This, this higher low, it never comes back lower than this. And from here, you can see it, uh, we had a, an explosive uh, p uh, impulse to the top. So this is my level. This is, this is, the, uh, this is actually uh, the level where uh, if it breaks here, it's a break of structure. This is one of the reasons why I use trend lines to help me with that. I got, a, a, I got a point here of connection and a point up there and you can see where it originated. And once you break, get on the other side of that trend line where the, uh, uh, the uptrend is over. All right, so now with this low, I'm looking for a lower high and then a lower low. And that says we're in a downtrend, right? Boom. But this is where I was uh, concentrated on. So my bias on the direction of price was correct here. We'll see what the open says. And then and that'll determine whether uh, we'll be taking longs or shorts here. All right. Uh, I like shorts in this, in this area. I like shorts in this area. I would wait until if it goes up it goes up past this line, I, I will wait till it gets up here and then look for my uh, my entry for a short. That's what I would do, all right? Um, but because we have this level of uh, support here, it can turn into resistance over here. So I'll, I'll, I'll be looking in this area as well. I wouldn't get involved though until I broke that low, okay? For a short here, all right? Anything above that would be a little bit more aggressive. Okay, on this next one, USD JPY, this is what I said. On the US, uh, US JPY, all right, uh, dollar yen. I mean, the, the scenario, uh, we're at resistance. This is where we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns, and we'll jump in there and take it down to the downside. All right, and this idea, uh, New Zealand CAD, all right? Uh, I wasn't exactly accurate with that. Mm. That is not how things ended up. Uh, price broke through that resistance, all right? And we, we're on the, on the top side, all right? Now, in all fairness, uh, what I did say was we're looking for uh, some bearish formations and patterns here in order to find a valid entry for a short, all right? I even had, even had uh, uh, the trading tool on. And I was like, we're just going to play the range. All right. Those that entry never came, so I, I'm, you know, I didn't cost anybody any money, but uh, uh, price was a little stronger uh, than I, 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 I guess it was. The U.S. dollar was stronger than I, I thought thought it would be. So what are we looking for now? That's it. Simple as that. All right, we're looking for a retest. And I would say, be careful of this area, 109.35, 109.35, because on retest, price likes to find these wicks, all right? And uh, instead of going all the way to uh, the, uh, the body, it'll find the wick. So what am I looking for now? I, I'm gonna, I don't believe I just did that. I'm looking for, I want to see if that's a see how it lines up pretty nice with the 38, you know, taking it from the low to the high. All right, so this is the area I'm looking for a retest. Look for that wick. All right, be careful of that wick area, and we're going to find a valid entry for a long. All right, the dollar is trending pretty hard, or pre going pretty hard in strength, and the, the yen is doing the exact opposite. So uh, let's look for a good entry. All right, and watch, watch out for the open because we're gonna be misdirected. All right, <laughs> so be careful of that, okay? 
So let's let's look for the retest. A, pro, a, a proper entry down here, a nice bullish candle uh, after some wick rejections. You know, a good momentum candle and or a good pattern, and we can jump in that. Okay, the last one I did was a uh, New Zealand New Zealand dollar CAD, and uh, this is the monthly. You can see how price had us uh, going sideways. I already did this analysis in the uh, in the last video. Uh, uh, so my eyes were drawn to this bullish reaction here. Uh, you see it's a big giant doji, but price reversed here. All right, and that's something you gotta take notice of. All right, and uh, price went as high, found the uh, resistance here, then came back really strong bearish, so a real strong bearish ca uh, candle. Uh, tapping the 50 EMA and tapping this level here at uh, 0 0.88031. All right, and we were looking for a retracement of sorts, All right? You can see how price uh, found these, made these higher lows, higher lows, then found this lower high, this higher, this higher high here, but then broke these lows here. All right, we broke those lows. We can expect uh, uh, a retracement to re retest those at some. At, we because you don't you don't just it's not just going to fall down one one not usually it's not just going to fall down on one big impulse on the uh, the weekly. All right, this takes a while to get down here. So I'm looking for a uh, a retracement back to. Uh, uh, a, a 380, at least to the 382. If we put, if we go to the uh, the daily, we'll get a better look at this. All right. If you remember in the last video, I, I, I left you with this uh, trading, this long idea and price was uh, still down here on the, uh, on the, uh, on the four hour, this this big bullish candle wasn't there yet. I said, look for, for uh, bullish formations and patterns. And remember why I was telling you about that pattern before? Strong bearish into a key level, doji, and then a strong bullish candle that corrects the wick in that, that previous doji. And uh, it just, it's, it's a sign of reversal and we should be heading up, heading up town. All right, I'm thinking we're going to be testing this level here. Okay, testing that level of resistance. Maybe we get some trouble here. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but I'm thinking that uh, we should be safe to take longs all the way up into that level. And that's what I said on that um, on that uh, on my last video. And I left you on the four hour. And actually, price was only. If I can remember correctly, uh, price was probably right here. And we had that pattern. Even on the four hour, that pattern was there. That reversal pattern was there. Y'all keep an eye out for that reversal pattern because it's 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 a real pattern. All right. Even though, even though you just gotta make sure it's at a key level, even though it came back and tested the area again and uh, uh, rejected. This was an excellent confirmation that price was heading up. That's why uh, the entry was here. All right, we'll see how far this goes. You know what I mean? You can still get in folks. It's not too late, you know? Uh, just make sure uh, you agree with the with the analysis. Make sure your analysis is aligned with mine and then you get come in. I don't like late entries, but late entries are possible, all right? Most times, I, if I'm going to come in late, I look for uh, a, a, a pullback. All right, you might be getting one uh, right around this level, around 88.4. All right, 88.40, because uh, uh, and then you might be able to get in at a better price, or you can get in now. You know what I mean? Depends on you and what you want to do. Anyway, that's my review. That's my uh, my follow up. And what I'd like you to do is give me some likes, man. I mean, there's a bunch of people that uh, tend to look at these videos, but they don't take the time just to hit the like button. Smash it. Smash that like button, man. And uh, subscribe.
subscribe so you can get my uh, uh, my analysis as soon as I get it. All right, as soon as I get it, you get it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm looking out for my uh, VIP members at uh, Lions Den FX, and um, and then uh, uh, I look out uh, for uh, my public. My public uh, uh, for, uh, subscribers, and then uh, uh, you know I'm trying to get you all to come on into the fold, man, and get the get the raw real deal. You know I try to help uh, uh, new newer newer traders and uh, trying to help them along along their journey. All right, and we got a the master of markets there, uh, the drunken monkey. Drunken monkey is a master of markets. Sporex. Um, uh, uh, CFDs, you know, indices, oil, uh, uh, and stocks. I mean, he covers it all, man. Uh, come and get some good mentorship at uh, Lions Den FX, all right? And don't forget to smash that like button, would you please? Now, expect some more uh, analysis to come for the outlook for the rest of the week because there's a lot of other pairs to cover, okay? Maybe I, I can see a good uh, setup or something, and uh, I'll be sure to pass it along. Until then, uh, trade safely and uh, trade happy. <laughs>